to make it things uh, simpler even if you are asking the question in hindi we'll try and translate to english and then answer it in english so siddharth has given a very warm kind of introduction but uh, life is much more beyond iit and i am so a lot of people have succeeded despite and you know of hundreds of cases where people get into iits and nda but they still to choose to serve the country and i can you can go on quora and see how many people have actually chosen nda over iit so it's not something out of the world yes it's uh, it's very competitive that so many lakhs appear and then few get into so it's just been question of luck also when preparation meets luck you get into these institutes and it's only in india that the competition is very very tough where lakhs appear and they hardly it's something like ias where the seats are so few and lakhs of aspirants are there all around mukherjee nagar you see how many people appear for ias exam and try and get it so any question anything regarding your career life yes uh, introduce yourself your name from okay ha no i know you are all from india batch yes okay mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. Very good. Come, come up. See, uh, before you you cannot control all your other uh, competitors in the exam. You first need to instill confidence in yourself. If you have self confidence, keep. saying to you, keep saying every day get up see in the mirror and say you are the best you are the best once once you keep repeating this confidence motion that you are the best it manifests itself in actually achieving uh, once you have conquered your own fears uh, you cannot control anyone else's exam you can only do a little bit of cheating of one or two marks or maybe few question but you cannot control anything what others are appearing and this is not talking in this classroom but hundreds of thousands of other classrooms all over the country who are preparing for the same exam so once you have confidence on yourself i'm sure you know rest of the things would fall into place yeah i i think it should be on the contrary see initially when when the course is new you have in you have no control over the subject but like the way anuj sir anuj seth sir has been teaching you or sahil mittal uh you are conquering more and more in those exam preparation and slowly and steadily once you have finished your course revised uh, the previous year question papers i think you should be in a comfort zone that send me give me any tough paper and i will crack it and you must also think that if this question is difficult for a sigma aspirant how difficult it must be for hundreds and thousands of other institutes where hardly any preparation takes place so i think self confidence is 99% of the battle won rest 1% is luck which uh, if god willing 
मे बी क्वेश्चन कम विच यू हैव ऑलरेडी सीन और समवेयर इन योर कम्फर्ट जोन सो दैट्स मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थैंक यू वेर आर यू फ्रॉम नरेला ओके डेली ओनली ओके any other yeah okay okay uh for repeaters i don't think so it's see any uh, interviewing panel is trying to choose the best candidate so the fact you will be coming again uh for the ssb interviews and whether it conference out or conference they are they are actually evaluating that uh this candidate is so passionate about nda or any other post you are aspiring for that they actually try to see this passion and hard work which you have put in so it's nothing they might they might even increase the difficulty of level of questions they were asked in the second round but they are not going to totally uh, rule you out from selection so i i, I don't agree with uh, anyone who says that uh, repeaters cannot uh, crack the interview or get selected in any which way so for those of you who uh, i'll repeat the question can i i didn't get your name properly shivam singh question was that uh, for a repeater he he was conferenced out in his first attempt at ssb it's it becomes difficult to get selected but that is not the case a repeater in fact have a better chance because they have actually experience the whole process of going to allahabad or whichever wherever your examination center uh, ssb center is and you can actually have it's like uh is going uh, it's like going to a cricket match for the second time so first time you may have failed but it's uh, it, it's not really a failure also it may just be a question that a lot of uh, candidates which were competing against you were in uh, were much better or were be better prepared or on that particular day Uh, the questions which came to them were in their uh, comfort zone so a lot of time uh, i mean you have all seen virat kohli actually sometimes gets out on a zero or on a first ball duck also it's not that his class has gone or his talent has gone anywhere it's just question of how you handle situation on that particular day any other doubts preparation question yeah. and never be embarrassed of asking question because the more questions you ask in life the more successful you will be it a lot of people say it's not what you answer in exam because that's all always uh, there's only one good there's only one right answer but it's how you ask questions which will really determine your life uh, going forward also so even when you become officers they will judge you also on how you ask questions and the i'm very confident that uh, 
Sigma warriors are very well prepared and there is no grey area in their brain, there is nothing, uh, nothing cloud. Yes, Saurav. Okay, so sort of question is what should be the weekly plan for the exam preparation only now? So what so everyone have their own weekly uh, Schedule or preparation wise some people can relax themselves even if they uh, go and see a movie Pathan or whatever is uh, topical on those days some people need to actually exercise every day because that gives them extra motivation to uh, concentrate and do well some people do meditation so it's all uh, it's all again a personal uh, it's actually too personal to say but you should not totally um, i mean Try and prepare maximum number of hours if possible, but you should not give up your other part of the life that some people don't even uh, have proper meals and uh, are neglecting their other workday schedule, whether it's exercise, gymming, meditation, religion, spirituality, whatever you've been doing till now, take out time for all those things even if movie relaxes you there's nothing better than uh, actually relaxing your nerves so all these entertainment with if you want to watch a particular tv serial or a uh, youtube movie or anything you can all do that so yeah so okay so variances will uh, so as Saurabh said he is not able to accomplish 80 percent of his weekly targets it's it's bound to happen if you actually keep your targets too low that i am going to complete these many chapters of mathematics or english and if you are over accomplish either you have kept your target too low so keeping target too low is also a very uh, difficult situation and not advisable at the same time you should not get disheartened if you kept if you are only accomplishing 80 percent that only means that you kept the target on a higher side so just you need to space out your uh, complete preparation that you should be able to finish the course at least two to three times so uh, even if you are accomplishing 80 percent it's not too bad either you kept the targets too high so keeping targets too low is also a very disadvantageous position then then actually you are getting um, uh, what you may say overconfident and actually overconfidence kills more students than underconfidence when you are overconfident yes it is good to be confident and you go in the preparation uh, examination hall give me any paper i'll be able to crack it that's a that's a good confidence level to have but if you are overconfident three months before the exam what is going to happen that your preparation is going to lax or will go down over the uh, succeeding months which will follow and any drop in preparation level is fatal for your exam preparation so keep your targets reasonable and uh, even if you are even if you are uh, not able, able to accomplish them don't don't be too disheartened okay you can cover it up in the 
succeeding weeks or succeeding months and accomplish that so Okay. Uh, yes, that's a very good question. So, what Saurabh is asking that at uh -huh. okay at times the first question you encounter you are not able to solve. Uh, you might feel disheartened. So, it's always better that if you scan the paper or go and try and conquer easier questions first. Because that will give you the confidence to act and actually revisit that question after doing few uh, correct question and you will find that your maybe your mind becomes clearer and maybe your confidence level has gone up that the same question when it is presented after some time you are able to do it. So, uh, yes confidence plays a very important role. And actually, a lot of people, um, when they encounter difficult question, give up on their whole prepare. They may have actually can do the whole paper correctly, but some tough questions at the very beginning can shake their confidence and they are not able to. So, um, yes, Anush Seth sir will be able to guide. It's it's not a computer based exam, nah? it's a paper based exam. Yeah, so you can actually scan the whole question paper and you know which are your strong areas. If uh, uh, trigonometry is strong or if calculus is strong, you, you can actually attack those questions first. It's like uh, it's like you've gone to an orchard, uh, there are mangoes hanging from the tree. So, what is the first objective you want? Uh, now, the task for you is to eat as many mangoes as possible. So, you will only you will first attack the low hanging fruits, low hanging mangoes which are there. So, which come within your hand range, and then you climb up the tree and then go for the difficult mangoes or difficult question. So. Same way in an examination, you should look for low hanging fruit, the easy, what you say, uh, laddu questions which are there. And every exam paper has difficult, moderate, and very easy questions. So, you go, your strategy should be from moving from easy to moderate to very difficult one and actually by scanning the question only you can know that this will take less than a minute this will take two three minutes this will take four minutes five minutes or whatever so you know there is a time pressure also so and some questions can be done in seconds so you have to move from easy to moderate to very difficult one thank you so very mm, good yes Prashant. Backlog. Uh, okay. Backlog in terms of course preparation, you mean, uh, or uh, yes, yes. Okay. Okay, uh, so as far as preparation needs to be concerned, uh, you will, uh, I mean, yes, you will need to do the complete preparation here only and uh, we will uh, endeavor to cover your complete course at least a month or 15 days before your uh, before your uh, uh, examination is so backlog preparation will I think will be put in order uh, Siddharth can actually uh, so 
at least once your complete course will be completed how many people have have backlog of more than more than more, more than few topics so so the backlog uh, topics would be covered in in of yes two minutes yes uh, nikki sha nisha yeah question is that when someone uh, when we talk someone who actually crack iit right या ओके 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 निकी इज क्वेश्चन निकी निकी के ना सो सो हर क्वेश्चन इज दैट पीपल हु आर एबल टू क्लियर आई आई टीज आर स्टिल नॉट एबल टू क्लियर एन डी ए सो सो दिस नेगेटिविटी एक्चुअली ब्रिंग्स आउट द डीमोटिवेटिंग फैक्टर इन द सिस्टम एंड पीपल गेट डिस हार्टन see every exam is different so the fact nda the first people who are able to clear, see iit that way is a very uh, a theoretical exam in sense uh, if you are in quota studying 20 hours in a day without any distraction or without any it's almost like a uh, a cramming mechanism and you are able to cram. there are no interviews there are no group discussion and actually if you see that's not the right emotional uh, eq testing of a candidate so nda that way is a much superior exam that at least it evaluates your verbal ability mathematical ability your general studies everything and then calls you for ssb where they evaluate so many other psychometric uh, uh psychometric testing of the candidate the psychoanalysis and everything so that way yes it's a much superior exam but one should one should not feel disheartened or uh, demotivated uh it only goes to show that this was a much uh, like when you are climbing mountains you may climb the higher the lower peaks of himalayas but the highest is mount everest so you can only think that okay maybe uh, but one should not feel demotivated or uh, that you yes you cracked iit but it may just be that nda is a much higher uh, capability of exam and uh, and actually they are not looking at rocket scientist see if nda was looking at rocket scientist then they would tell iits that you you conduct our exam and give us the top 50 like the top 50 or 100 students in iits take computer science because that's the most uh, most promising branch of engineering but if you see 90% of iit engineers end up in it sector whether they are civil mechanical or chemical they are doing coding or in somewhere in the it sector only so uh, there is no there is no logic in uh, the whole uh, examination preparation so so nda is a different uh, ball game altogether and actually you need to prepare 
from all the other sites so they are going to be evaluating your physical parameters they're going to be doing a group discussion where your knowledge of everyday politics economics even bollywood would be uh, would come handy so so it's a, it's a totally different uh, examination and different different um, uh, different ability of candidate they, they are actually bringing out a leader who can who can command a force and get into if if ever there is a war with pakistan or china or any other calamity the armed forces are brought into uh, rescue mechanism so it's a totally different exam and totally different approach which they check i i have tried to answer uh, a very peculiar question that yes a person may because see iit exam is like any nerd i hope you understand the word uh, nerd yeah the so nerds are those geeky people who get into book and actually you give them any book any topic uh, for few hours then and they would be easily able to uh, totally grasp that topic completely so that's what is called theoretical knowledge but nda properly is looking at much more beyond your theoretical knowledge it's just unfortunately in our country there are so many aspirants that they need to conduct tests at every level um, to select out the best candidates so otherwise in us and uh, other con developed countries they actually advertise to um, for students to join the army or defense forces yes it's again uh, see sleep is uh, most under okay uh, suraj's question is yeah how can he yeah sleep see a lot of sleep is the most underrated uh, uh, activity which we have uh, which we do uh, some people sleep for 6 hours or 8 hours every day some people do not like there are uh, superstars like shahrukh khan who only sleep for 2 3 or 4 hours in a night uh, so it's a very personal uh, uh, activity uh, i cannot suggest uh, anyone that one yeah, oversleep is also bad but if you sleep for 6 to 8 hours of good sleep not only is your brain relaxing but it's actually a very good uh, uh, your cells, your grasping mechanism, your memory, your brain activity actually increases with the sleep. So, uh, again sleep is totally personal. Some people even, uh, even if they sleep for 8 or 10 hours are very lethargic or uh, not able to accomplish in the uh, in the day but the same uh, so it's again a personal uh, this thing some people with just three or four hours of sleep so it's totally your personal uh, uh, but try i think uh, average world over it's been seeing that uh, five to six hours of sleep is very very highly recommended and actually it has to be a proper deep sleep so it should not be that you sleep for one hour and then you are control uh, uh, I think uh, na now nowadays there are a lot of uh, sleep uh, 
apps or which are available also so you can download neen then some of them where where uh, okay where actually by listening to a podcast or listening to a story from mahabharat or ramayan they will put you to sleep so if you don't struggle while going to sleep should be a, such a mechanism that uh, the minute you hit the bed you should fall asleep within next 2 two, two to 5 minutes because if it's taking more um, more time than that then that means either your body is not tired or your mind is very active so it would be uh, futile exercise to so you should actually see how much how many hours of sleep you need every night and and yeah no no one should one should uh, it would be very wrong when we are talking in january when your exam is in april to control you should not reduce your sleep nor increase it if your body is used to 6 hours of sleep or 8 hours of sleep you should continue with the same regime and you should get tired in the whole day either do exercise or uh, running or yoga or anything which uh, actually tires your body see uh, when you are studying mentally you are tiring your brain but physical exercise is also required to to actually tire yourself and then you can uh, fall asleep because sleep is a very complex mechanism world over people are doing so much of sleep studies and uh, i th i think if a lot of people go to sleep while listening to music or um so uh, it's a totally personal choice i i i can't uh, Uh, i can't comment on how many hours of sleep you need but the the basic mechanism is the same you tire yourself mentally and as well as physically so ha huh? I, i i'm not able to understand control means you want to sleep more or sleep less sleep less uh i would not recommend that what whatever is whatever your body is used to go with the flow only no no point of torturing yourself ki are and telling ha uh, uh, no that's that's wrong then uh, no no uh, one one once in a while if you sleep say on a sunday or on 26 january or whatever if it's a holiday please please i think uh yeah once in a while if somebody sleeps for 15 hours it's uh, it could be one of the cheat days or what you could say uh it's it's like you have gone on a holiday and you slept so much but otherwise you will have to sleep uh, see a sleep doctor who will say why why do you why do you need to sleep so so many hours 615 hours is not by any stretch of imagination recommended or it's uh, it's it's right for you at young age 8 hours 6 hours 10 hours whatever is the, within the limit yeah okay okay uh now travel is uh, i i am sure uh, a lot of people take pgs and stay close by but then there is a um, then there is the cost involved with that also so i can only say that 
that uh, the travel time could be utilized in uh, i think uh, with your smartphones uh, you can actually use the travel time in going through any app or uh, for your preparation or actually you can revise whatever has been taught in the classroom by anuj sethar or uh, other professors uh i don't think so that when you get back home you you should be tired but just attend see because you need to relax this exam can only be conquered if you are relaxed Uh, the world is not going to end if you do not uh, yes put pressure on you but but it should not be so much of pressure that when you get back home so actually travel time could be very useful if you do meditation or if you are religious um, some people do hanuman chalisa or some people meditate so whatever relaxes your body some people get on to their phone and uh, start uh, with the earphones you can easily uh, cover one or two topics and actually you will suddenly realize some people realize that they are able to accomplish or learn much more when they are traveling than what they are able to do it at home so again uh, need to make the best of the situation i would not say you move in into pg tomorrow and then you will be able to accomplish more yes. even with the present lifestyle you can adapt and do the needful so yeah determination and obsession okay uh, uh very good question by miss aditi that what is the difference between determination and obsession uh see obsession is when you get um it's like it's like what you have seen in um, shahrukh khan's movie dar when he gets obsessed obsessed is when you when you love someone but uh, you can go to any extent to acquire that person or so you you can even commit a murder so when your rational thinking when your rational brain is not able to distinguish between the right action and uh, and you actually get into that uh, uh, that more determination is yes you want to accomplish something and uh, uh, is determination is a good trait to have obsession of anything obsession could be with food love uh, sex or any uh, which which would actually be very detrimental but determination is a good trait to have because you were determined to there is a negative yeah oh, oh, yes ob obsession for anything is bad so obviously negative there are more negatives in obsession than any positive yes you should be determined to achieve your dream of accomplishing nda course but obsession uh, obsession could actually play a uh, havoc on your health or on your emotional you may lose friends you may lose your family uh, yeah, lose your family means the uh, your relationship with your parents or 
professors or other fellow beings because you, if you are obsessed in achieving something it it is better to be determined because determined is within the rational limits of uh very there is actually very thin line dividing that so a lot of if you if you give up on your uh, healthy food habits if you are not eating proper diet or not drinking enough water now water again like sleep is the most underrated uh, commodity what if you are ever tired you drink a glass of water it will give you energy so water is again you need to keep your body hydrated at any time so water like sleep should be everything should be in moderation nothing should be obsessively that i am not going to be wasting time in exercising or going for a jog how much would the jog take you are not going to be running a marathon which is for 3 to 4 hours even if you run for 20 minutes or half an hour your body uh, what what is called the dopamine dopamine is a hormone which is the healthy hormone so whenever uh, your favorite mithai or favorite uh, dish uh, which you have at agarwals uh, when you have that the body secretes that dopamine so dopamine is a uh, a lot of people get into drugs now what happens with drugs is the drugs only secretes the dopamine hormone in extra quantity so there is no recommendation that you should start getting into drugs or weed or anything uh, because that's a negative uh, connotation so everything should be in moderation but yes within limits even if you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend yes keep it but it should not be obsessively um uh, taking your time away from your focus so like like in mahabharat arjun's focus was the eye of the fish or yes so keep your keep your eyes on the target and do not get distracted by politics economics or whatever is happening in the whole world around you yeah. yes mm. uh 
see one thing is for sure once you are in sigma and are preparing here for 3 4 months it would put your life into discipline whether you crack nda in the first attempt or second attempt your plan b uh, what you are talking of is plan b your plan a is nda no no nah. okay okay yeah okay okay so uh, in in any anywhere in life plan b is always a good option but at a lot of time if you have a plan b then your plan a focused gets diluted then you always think it's like saying a businessman son is studying in the class now he, for him there is always a safety net are ho gaya exam to theek hai army mein chale jayenge ya defense forces mein chale jayenge nahi hoga to I always have a shop or business to. Uh, okay, okay, I agree. Uh, so what you are trying to suggest that, in fact, the focus should be more on SSB or you are saying on the other preparation. Uh, well, I am sure uh, the management uh, requiring. whatever level students uh, uh, mathematical or that course preparation for those various subjects is there so enough no no i'm i'm telling you so the classes have been scheduled in such a way that okay tell me what will be the use that you are a very good speaker you are very good in group discussion you are a you have you are physically very fit and uh, you will not be you will be able to crack ssb like a breeze like a breeze means uh, you will conquer it but what what will be the what is the big advantage if you are uh, uh, if you are um, if you are not able to crack the written at the first uh, stage the, the first stage is the written exam itself so uh, unfortunately or fortunately your first target has to be um, get through written and then go step by step so i i do agree uh, from your perspective that maybe maybe uh, maybe all the student should be able if, if they are told to speak on adani or any topic they should be knowledgeable about what's happening in the world and um, what should they be uh, encountering but uh, again every exam is a step by step progression so you can't uh, we can't be preparing you for an exam if you have failed at the first uh, written level so the first our first endeavor is to clear you with the written exam and then ssb preparation whether it's in uh, terms of group discussion or personal interview or uh, tat or the various stages of uh, other uh, psychoanalysis I, oh okay i i, I think
Can you come up with the question again? You said. Uh, no, I don't think so. You, you need to uh, be that objective to. Uh, if you do not agree with any uh, any thought process, you can say no and uh, and able because most likely the other person is going to question you the reason for your not agreeing on that so if you, yeah so i 
if you can stand yeah okay class yeah yeah okay uh, uh yes we have a question on distractions do you what distractions are you describing uh okay so you uh okay there is a question on distractions towards opposite sex see that could be a distraction or it could be a motivation it's how you control your uh, yourself okay 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 uh your name okay we have a question from pratik who said his english communication skills are what he feels may not be um up to the mark or he feels that um there is there is a need for improvement so actually you need to work start working on communication skills from um wish you could start 5 years back but there is no end to it even 3 to 4 months of preparation so even in ssb they are actually going to evaluate your thought process and yes english communication skills are uh, very uh, very essential but they are not a limiting factor so if you start speaking to a mirror or actually make all your conversations with your friends in uh, and other uh, candidates in the classroom only in english so a lot of improvement you can start from day one and uh, you'll soon realize that it is not too difficult because they are they are not asking you to speak extempore on a uh, uh, to be on a tv debate they are only checking your knowledge and how you are able to put across so even if you do not speak totally in english if you say can i explain this answer in hindi i'm sure they're going to Uh, give you the liberty of doing it also so yeah so first thing is to get over that hesitation that somebody is going to laugh at you or uh, uh, so the first step is to get over the hesitation if you i mean you should be uh, you should not be bothered about what other person is thinking and actually get the confidence to put your point of view across 
so nobody is born perfect everyone acquires the skills uh, you must have seen um, i mean i can't uh, talk of uh, a lot of people who you do not know but we all know celebrities like say kangana ranaut when she entered bollywood uh, she had no exposure to english in her village in himachal or so many other cricketers if you see harbhajan singh or yeah oh my say say they all come from very humble backgrounds who have never ever spoken in english because they never had the public platform to do it but over uh, kapil dev is an excellent example but he did it 40 years back but there are lot of cricketers nowadays who are coming from very humble backgrounds and within a few days or few months of uh, uh, public exposure or they must be working on their communication skills also na and they are able to actually if you see virat kohli is only 11th class uh, 10th or 11th pass so and he is not from some major school from delhi so uh, and if you see today he he is one of the most prolific speaker so it's just your will power and ability to succeed and conquer your uh, inner fears inner fears is the most important thing to yeah
हिंदी नहीं है अंग्रेजी बोल हाँ हिंदी बोल भोजपुरी बोल जो भी आता अच्छे से बोल सीखना चाहिए कि जो तू बोल रहा है लैंग्वेज का भी बेटा जिससे बता रहा हूँ जो भी डरे हुए सहमे हुए इंसान है अपने आप को बाहर निकालने की चीजें ठीक है लैंग्वेज का भी मैटर किसी के लिए नहीं करेगा स्पेशली तो इंडिया में कभी नहीं ठीक है नहीं तो एक चाय बिकने वाला देश का प्रधानमंत्री नहीं बन जाता ठीक है हरी बात समझ में मित्रों इससे पहले कभी सुना था मित्रों सब लोग बोलते थे लेकिन हिंदी में ही ना मित्रों बोल के सबको अंदर जो ठीक है सब परेशान है मित्रों मित्रों करने के लिए कोई नहीं वैसा मित्रों कर पाता है अरी बात समझ में ठीक है अपने ल, अपने अपनी जो चीजें है ना उस पर तुम्हें प्राउड फील होना चाहिए ठीक है मेरे पास मेरे पास टूटी हुई चप्पल है गणतर मोदी के वो उसके जैसा सुनील शेटी के जैसा ठीक है हाँ लेकिन मैं उसको रखूंगा समाज को दुनिया को दिखाने के लिए तब तक जब तक मैं उसके लायक नहीं बन जाए अरे चप्पल चप्पल दिखाने के लिए इस से मैं चढ़े है लोग ऐसे नहीं है कि नहीं चढ़े हैं बछेंद्री पाल ठीक है चढ़ी एक नहीं चढ़ी है महिला होकर चढ़ गई ठीक है और बताता हूँ एक ऐसी औरत जिसे चढ़ना था पहाड़ के ऊपर अब पता है क्या उसके ट्रेन एक्सीडेंट में दोनों पैर कट गए ठीक है नहीं नहीं आप रखिए ना अरे काफी है सर सब दोनों पैर खराब हो गए ठीक है डिटर्मिनेशन हाई था जो कहा जाना था ठीक है ठीक है कुछ हो जाएगा जब सुनेगा तो ठीक है सब छोटी छोटी चीजें हैं ये सब अपने आप को ना सिर्फ तकलीफ से बचाने के लिए होता है ठीक है तो मैं तकलीफ नहीं दे सकता जी हाँ बाबू तुम्हारे सोना के खाए उसमें चम्बच में मुंह में डाल देते खाते रह जाओ पूरी जिंदगी मुंह में डाल देते कुछ नहीं होना एक दिन ऐसे चार कंधे पर उठा के ले जाकर उधर कुछ अपना दिया जाए सोने में ना तुमको कुछ सुस्ता जानेगा ना कोई जानवर सुस्त आएगा ठीक है नाम बहुत जरूरी है कितने कर्म किए हो गए ना तो इंसान इंसान बन कर आए हो कर्म नहीं बोल रहा हूँ कर्म बोल रहा हूँ ठीक है इंसान इंसान बनने के लिए बहुत कुकर्म करने पड़ते हैं तो सारी कठिनाइया जो है ना इंसान बनने के बाद होती है ठीक है यहाँ पर तुम्हारे अपने भी ना तुझे काटने के लिए रिजल्ट होगा सबसे पहले तक नहीं पता है कुछ होगा तुम्हारे घर के बगल वाले को काला ऐसे बोलेगा काला वो कुत्ता भी निकल गया ऐसे बोलेगा लेकिन तुम्हें उस दिन प्राउड फील होना चाहिए उस दिन इस बात पर प्राउड फील होना चाहिए कि मैंने उसको थप्पड़ मारा है कारण के नीचे जोर से अपना रिजल्ट दे क्योंकि तुम कहाँ से आया है मुझे पता है मैं उस रास्ते से उस वहां से आया हूँ जहां से तुम लोग आया है ठीक है मैं जब दिल्ली आया था मेरे पास ज्यादा पैसे नहीं थे बाबा जी पचास हजार रुपए देखे भाई जीत के जाओ पढ़ लेना कैश कैश कर लेना साढ़े तीन हजार रुपये में रूम लिया पच्चीस हजार रुपये करियर वोट करके दे दिया ठीक है उसके बाद छह महीने में फ्लैट कितना था कैश नहीं बस पता है यही लाइन है ठीक है बिहार से पढ़ा हुआ लड़का पहली बार दिल्ली आया सभी लोग क्लास में ऐसे ही सभी लड़कियां अंग्रेजी में बात कर रही है मेरे को समझ नहीं मिला है ठीक है लेकिन जब मैं मैथ सॉल्व करता ठीक है मैं रीजनिंग सॉल्व करता बहुत सारी चीजें थी स्कूल से आगे था ठीक है तो मैं कर लेता था तो बहुत सारी चीजें थी जो उनसे नहीं होते थे मेरे से होते थे सबके पास एक यूनिक होता है कुछ ना कुछ तुम्हारे अंदर होगा जो तुम्हारा हो सकता है किसी का फिजिक्स अच्छा हो किसी की केमिस्ट्री अच्छा हो किसी का बायोलॉजी अच्छा हो ठीक है तो जो चीज अच्छा हो उस पर ज्यादा काम करो इससे क्या होगा तुम्हें जो मैक्सिम मार्क्स मिलने वो मिलेंगे आ रही बात समझ में ठीक है जो तुम्हारा है उसको तो एक एक नंबर भी मत जाने जो कहीं जो तुम्हारा है ना उस जिसको तुम स्ट्रॉन्ग है वो तुम्हारा एक नंबर कहीं मत जाने दो कहीं भी मत जाने दो अब जो तुम्हारा नहीं है उस पर काम करो ठीक है जो तुम्हारा नहीं हक है उस पर काम करो वो तुम्हारा हो जाएगा तुम्हारा हो जाएगा नहीं होता है उसके लिए मेहनत करना पड़ता है भाई ऐसे नहीं रोज सुबह उठे दुआ मांगे और वो हो गया उसके लिए पढ़ना पड़ता है ठीक है 
अब इक्वेशन सॉल्व नहीं हो रहा है तुम्हारा ठीक है उसके लिए टीचर दे रखा है ना पूछो उनसे उसका क्यों नहीं सॉल्व हो रहा है फिजिक्स के न्यूमेरिकल क्वेश्चन नहीं बन रहे हैं तो टीचर दे रखा है ना पूछो उनसे टीचर क्यों नहीं हो रहा है या तो फिर तुम क्लास में आ नहीं रहे हो तब भी मार रहे हो तो हर बार मैं गधे की तरफ तुम लोग बाहर जाकर पकड़ते रहता हूँ ठीक है तो क्लास में नहीं बैठ रहे हो क्यों नहीं बैठ रहे हो भाई अभी जैसे मैथ के क्लास में पूरा क्लास भरा हुआ है अभी लगा दूंगा केमिस्ट्री क्लास पूरा खाली हो जाएगा हो जाता है ना तुम लोग को लगता है कि केमिस्ट्री से क्वेश्चन मेरे हो जाएंगे दो क्वेश्चन पूछने पर होता नहीं है आ रही बात समझ में तो जो क्वेश्चन अपना है स्ट्रॉन्ग उसको स्ट्रॉन्ग बनाओ ठीक है और जो नहीं है उसको काम करना स्टार्ट करो ठीक है अच्छी बच्चे हुए ना सत्तर दिन हो गए तो सत्तर दिन बचे हैं इस सत्तर दिन में ठीक है वो शाहरुख खान का मूवी देखा है ना क्या था सत्तर मिनट है तुम्हारे पास ठीक है वैसे ही सत्तर दिन है तुम्हारे पास ऐसा खेलो सिखा दो ठीक है तो तुम क्या हो सिग्मा वॉरियर हो अब सिग्मा वॉरियर मैं देखो जैसे मैं कभी अपने लाइफ में हारना नहीं सीखा वैसे मैं भी चाहता हूँ तुम लोग कभी हारना ऐसा कभी नहीं होगा कि तुम तुम सोच लेगा कि मैं मर गया पक्का मर जाएगा ठीक है पक्का मर जाएगा ट्राई करेगा कभी नहीं मर जाएगा हर बार एक नया चीज सीखने के लिए और वो क्या होगा वो तुम्हें तुम्हारे मुकाम तक ले जाएगा आ रही बात समझ में उसके लिए पहले तुम्हें मेहनत करना पड़ेगा ठीक है मेहनत करने से कभी मत डरो कितने लोग हैं जो उस रू, रूटीन को फॉलो कर रहे हैं भाई जो मैंने बनवाया था उसकी सात सात लोग हैं अब ये सात लोग जरा खड़े हो जाए भाई ये सात लोग तुम लोग को देखना बताएंगे कुछ फर्क हुआ है भाई हो रहा है कुछ फर्क हा होगा मुझे पता था कि बहुत सारे लोग कर ही नहीं पाएंगे तीन बजे उठ ही नहीं पाएंगे तीन बजे उठना था पढ़ना था दो घंटे मैच पढ़ने थे तीन से पांच कितने बजे तीन से पांच यहाँ से जाने के बाद कुछ नहीं बोला था मैंने बोला जाओ खाओ पियो और हो जाओ कुछ नहीं पढ़ना है तीन बजे उठ जाओ अलार्म लगा लो ठीक है अखड़ा ऊपर रख लो हाँ जहाँ सोते हो तो तीन बजे तुम्हारे ऊपर गिर जाए उसके बाद उसके बाद जब से दो घंटे दो घंटे मैच पढ़ो रोज रोज दो घंटे दो घंटे तीन से पांच तीन से पांच भाई एक महीने में अगर फर्क ना आए ना देखना इन सात लोगों ने बता रहे हैं ऐसा नहीं कि मैंने कुछ इनको अलग से दिया था तो यही रूटीन दिया था ठीक है अरे गजब गजब ये ये देखा हमको मिला था उसके अगले दिन बोला सर गजब मैच सॉल्व हो रहा था फिर क्या हुआ तेरा फॉलो नहीं हुआ कंटिन्यू कर फायदेमंद होगा बता रहा हूँ क्योंकि ये हमारे गांव के गुरुजी ना जो हमको संस्कृत पढ़ाते थे तो हमको बालक का रूप याद नहीं होता था आज भी मुझे याद है बालका बालको बालका बालकम बालको बालका आज भी याद है ठीक है वो रीजन है रीजन क्या है चीजें याद रहती हैं आज तक नहीं भूला मैं ठीक है आज भी वो मुझे पढ़ती पढ़ता पठनती पढ़ती पढ़ता पढ़ता पठान पठाओ पठाओ आज भी याद है कितने साल हो गए बीस साल से ज्यादा हो गया ठीक है तो वो मैंने फील किया हुआ है इसलिए तुम लोगों को बताता हूँ तुम लोग शहर का लड़का है मैं जानता हूँ बहुत सारे शहर के नहीं है लेकिन जो है उनको भी बता रहा हूँ तो सच में काम करता है ऐसा नहीं काम नहीं करता अगर काम नहीं करता तो मैं तुम लोग को भी बताता ही नहीं ठीक है तो छोड़ देता तुम्हारे हालातों को ठीक है लेकिन मुझे पता है ये काम करता है इसलिए बोलता है एक महीना काम करो एक महीने बाद आदत हो जाएगा तुम्हारा खुद ही तीन बजे आँख खुल जाएगा पटाख से 